What is going on, y'all? It is the Caveman back at it again with another video. And today we are talking about which of the two between Julio Jones and Zach Ertz would benefit the Buffalo Bills and their offense more. Of course, we are simply speaking in hypotheticals here, but it is possible that one of these two guys, maybe even both by some miracle, could be on the Bills offense in 2021. I'm sure you heard everything that happened with the Julio Jones situation with Shannon Sharp, but long story short, Julio Jones said, I'm out of Atlanta and I want to win. So if Julio Jones himself said, he wants to win he's going to go to a good football team who is a good football team well the buffalo bills are a good football team so therefore we are automatically on the julio jones radar and then of course we have zach Ertz on the other hand who i've been pounding the table for since like september of 2020 i've been begging for the bills to go and get this guy for such a long time maybe it'll finally happen in the summer of this offseason Howie Roseman is being a stubborn piece of shit with Zach Ertz, man. He just got to give him up already. And I hope to God, if he's going anywhere, it's to the freaking Buffalo Bills. Because I, I, I can't explain to you how bad I've wanted Ertz and for how long it's been. But if we had the hypothetical option to choose one of the two to come to the Buffalo Bills next season, who would you rather choose? Who would bring more value? Who would benefit the offense more? But before we get into all of that, let's just talk about the vibe of today. Mott's applesauce, per usual. You guys know the drill. Maybe if we offer some Mott's applesauce, to Zach Ertz and Julio Jones, maybe they'll just be like, shit, if I'm getting some applesauce, I'm going to Buffalo. But anyway, Julio Jones or Zach Ertz, which of the two do you think would benefit the offense more? I'm going to tell you who I think would help the offense and who would benefit the team as a whole a lot more than the other. So let's look at a profile as their career currently stands, right? First, we'll start with Julio Jones. Julio Jones is Julio Jones. There's not much else to really be said. He's a wide receiver. He's 32 years of age. He's coming off of a 2020 season where he fought with an awful hamstring injury he only played in nine games he could not stay on the field for his life putting up a stat line of 51 receptions 773 yards and three touchdowns definitely not one of his better seasons but when you're off the field you can't play good football it does not have to be said right so Julio Jones would be replacing or just kind of taking the spot of Emmanuel Sanders Emmanuel Sanders would still be playing of course but Julio Jones would take that opposite side wide receiver spot to Stefan Diggs and when I tell you that would probably be one of the best duos in NFL history I think I genuinely mean it. That would be so stupid. Like, that would break the system. That would break the simulation. If Stefan Diggs and Julio Jones were lining up across from each other, that would be, that would, that would break everything. That would break the lead. Do we have to talk about positives here? It's Julio Jones. You line him up with Stefan Diggs, with Josh Allen, Rocket Arm at quarterback. The damage that would be done would be just astronomical. Of course, come positives come some negatives as well. Like I mentioned, Julio Jones is coming off of a season where he was horribly injury riddled. And not only that, well, he would cost a lot, not only to acquire, but to pay as well. Like the, the amount of capital just as a whole he would take up from the Buffalo Bills would be, talk about astronomical, that would be astronomical. And they did raise the salary cap for all teams in the NFL. So that would certainly help, but that does not take away how much Julio Jones would cost the Bills. And of course, the risk reward is huge, right? You're getting Julio Jones. It could be a humongous reward for the risk you're taking. But at the same time, if he gets injured, misses eight or nine games, then you're sitting there saying like, was it really worth it? That's what you can't tell right now. You know, before the season even happens, before we even get Julio Jones, would that be worth the risk? But on the other hand, we have a guy named Zach Ertz. I am a humongous Zach Ertz fan. Like I said earlier in the video, I've been pounding the damn table for Zach Ertz for months, for almost a year, not a, not a year yet, but we're, we're approaching somewhat of a year that I've been pounding the table for Zach Ertz. You can go back on my channel. I made a whole video about it, how we should trade for Zach Ertz. I've been dying for this guy. Zach Ertz, the former pro bull tight end, sits at 30 years of age, only two years younger than Julio Jones. He is also coming off of a 2020 season that was extremely lackluster due to injury. Zach Ertz's 2020 stat line was 11 games played, 36 receptions, 335 yards, and one touchdown. Definitely not what Zach Hurts is used to producing on the field. It was certainly his worst season yet. So let's talk about the positives here, right? We got Zach Hurts. He is a huge upgrade over Dawson Knox, in my personal opinion. He is a piece that I feel like we are missing on our offense for sure. Zach Hurts' play speaks for its damn self. When he is healthy, when he's playing at his best, it speaks for its damn self. I really do not have to explain to you what Zach Hurts brings to our offense. But unlike Julio Jones, Zach Hurts will not cost nearly as much to acquire, nor will he cost as much against the cap. Zach Ertz is definitely a cheaper, less of a risk option in comparison to Julio Jones, and it's not even comparable, honestly. Of course, we got similar negatives that can apply to Zach Ertz, just like they applied to Julio Jones. 
Will he get re-injured in 2021? He missed a lot of games in 2020 with an injury. What makes us think he's going to make it through 2021 without re-injuring himself? Of course, that's something we cannot predict. That's a risk-reward scenario you have to predict for yourself. So if I take the knowledge and opinions that I currently have of Zach Ertz and Julio Jones as their careers currently stand, as well as my knowledge and opinions as the Bills' offense as it currently stands, I think my choice is pretty clear and obvious as to who I'd rather take. And it might come to a surprise to you, but it all depends on how you view the current tight end situation on the Buffalo Bills. And for me, I'm probably the biggest Dawson Knox hater you'll come across. Therefore, I'm taking Zach Ertz without a doubt. And there are many reasons for this, which I will definitely get to. But the biggest one being is just that I think we need an upgrade at tight end for sure. I don't think Dawson Knox can get the job done. I don't think his future has much in store for us. Therefore, I think he's not the answer to our problems at the tight end position. Therefore, I think an upgrade is needed. Zach Ertz would be that upgrade. And I think it would be a tremendous one at that. And not to mention the risk reward is definitely a lot less when it comes to Zach Ertz, right? You're not risking that much by bringing in a guy like Zach Ertz. You don't have to trade that much to go and get him, and you don't have to pay him nearly as much as you have to pay Julio Jones. He would just not compare to Julio Jones when it comes to the cap hit. Both of these guys are coming off of injury plague seasons, right? So you don't want to pay so much for a guy like Julio Jones for him to only play seven, eight, nine, ten games because he's out with injuries all the time where you can say the same for Zach Ertz, but you didn't pay nearly as much for him. And on top of all of this, we already have a very stacked and a very talented wide receiver room. And I understand Julio Jones is far and above better than any wide receiver that we have beside for Diggs. But when your other option is Zach Ertz, who is a tremendous upgrade in my personal opinion over the guy you already have at tight end, I think the value is just too tremendous not to take Zach Ertz, no matter how talented Julio Jones is. So yes, you can sit here and argue with me over who's the better individual between Zach Ertz and Julio Jones, but you have to look at the value that they bring to our offense. The value that Zach Ertz brings to our offense, in my opinion, is far and above greater than any value Julio Jones could bring, and that's simply because we have so much talent at wide receiver already. I mean, we signed Emmanuel Sanders, who is more than a good enough wide receiver, too, to pair with Stephon Diggs. So why would we put our money into an area that is already extremely wealthy when there is another area on the offense that definitely needs some help, and that would be Zach over Julio Jones. I mean, it's a pretty basic concept. That is how I see it. Of course, it's very dependent on how you view our current tight end situation. I know people like Dawson Knox. I know people think that he has a lot of potential, but that's just not me. It used to be me, but I am firmly just not a believer in Dawson Knox anymore. Therefore, Zach Ertz over Julio Jones, in my personal opinion, 10 out of 10 times. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Am I crazy? Does Dawson Knox have a ton of potential? Would you rather take Julio Jones over Zach Ertz? Would you take Ertz over Jones? Let me know any thoughts you have about the video, about the NFL, about the Bills down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, and I hope you did, please like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. If you want to hit the bell to be notified when I upload, I would appreciate appreciate that. If you want to go over to Twitter, follow me over there. I would appreciate that as well. I'm a part of the built-in Buffalo content creation team, so be sure to follow and subscribe to them on any social medias you might have if you enjoy Buffalo Bills content, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.